Caitlyn Jenner, according to Fox News, is denouncing the woke media who changed the meaning of the blue line flag. Now, I'll be 100% honest with you all. I don't care about what Caitlyn Jenner has to say here. I just want to show you the response from Fox News's audience because basically the overall vibe, if I could summarize, summarize it, is how dare you tell us what is and isn't woke when you yourself are woke because trans woman equals woke. But let's just we'll watch a little bit and I'll show you the comments because they are fucking wild. While the LAPD banning the pro-police thin blue line flag from the department's public areas, all because of a single complaint that claimed the flag represents, quoting here, violent and extremist views. LA's police chief was quick to wave the white flag, agreeing that the thin blue line had become too controversial. The ban outraging thousands of officers who say the force is already suffering because of low morale. Let's bring in Caitlyn Jenner, former California gubernatorial candidate and a Fox News contributor. Caitlyn, it's always great to have you on. Uh, 10,000 members of the LAPD, which is pretty much everybody, disagree with the chief on this. You would think this time in history, the chief would, would want to back up his officers. Well, uh, this is a political issue, amazing, in California. And uh, uh, Chief Michelle Moore, he went woke on us big time. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really hurting the morale out here in California. Basically, what happened? Um, to be police chief, uh, it is an appointed position. He was appointed in 2018 by Eric Garcetti, and now he's up for reappointment. And right. he has to kind of cater to the board. Well, you can imagine here in California, the LAPD board is very woke. So um, this issue of the flag came up. Yes. I'm sure that the cops are very woke, Caitlin. Sure, sure Jan. Jan. Um, the blue line flag that has been in public areas for a while, mm -hmm. and it's to really recognize the fallen LAPD officers um, uh, that we've had over the last few years. Right. And all of a sudden, Black Lives Matter, other far left organizations says you can't put that flag up in a public place. It's it's racist. It's it promotes violence. And so he went woke on us and decided to go with the um, the leftist groups and remove the flags. Okay, so we'll stop it right there. We don't really need to watch much more, but she's basically affirming exactly what the right wants to hear. The police chief went woke. I mean, this woke virus, it even infested police departments now. Uh, and just for those who don't, who don't know, there's not a single police department in the country that is woke period, full stop. But the point is, she's saying what they want to hear. Now, when you look at the comments, they don't give a damn that she's confirming their pre-existing biases. They are absolutely ruthless to her. And I'll just warn you, there's transphobia in this comment section. There's dead naming. It is brutal uh, because this is kind of them saying, we will never accept you. You are part of the problem. And it's sad but at the same time, she subjected herself to this. So I have no sympathy for her at all. So uh, let's see here. So dead naming her talking about going woke is hilarious. You can't make this stuff up. Because, I mean, if you're trans, by definition, you're woke. Gotcha. So how dare you talk about woke? I mean, even though you're going to tell me every single thing that I want to hear, you're the wrong messenger. So if you substituted... Caitlyn Jenner for Tucker Carlson, they would agree with it. But the problem is, well, it's coming from a trans woman, so it's bad. So this is, believe it or not, identity politics, right? Um, they do the same to Blair White. Yeah, exactly. They, de they deny Blair White's humanity to her face, and she's still like, well, you know what? Whatever. That's fine. As long as I can keep grifting off of... Um, demonizing my own community and throwing my own community under the bus uh this person says why is dead name also giving his two cents dead naming and misgendering worth he's more confused than most people so they literally couldn't care less about the substance here they just are so fixated on the fact that caitlin jenner is trans that nothing else matters 
dead name on Fox News, dressed up while as a woman and complaining about the woke culture in California is insane. Give your ex-wife her dress and undergarments back. Dead name is one dude I can live without hearing from. It's hard to take everything, or excuse me, it's hard to take anything anyone that dresses in drag says seriously. I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. And all of these comments, these transphobic comments, are heavily upvoted. Heavily upvoted. Calling Caitlyn Jenner a drag queen. Uh, every time I see dead name stupid face on Fox, I have to laugh because of the irony. So this person is actually addressing the substance, seemingly. Wish the police would be con content to fly the regular American flag. I don't want civil rights groups coming out. Right? Yeah. So, okay, we finally are a couple comments down, and somebody is not mentioning, uh, mentioning Caitlyn uh, Jenner's identity. Okay, we have another one just addressing the issue. And then we're back. Dead name. What a disgrace. As a kid, I looked up to this guy, Mr. Olympic Gold, Captain America. I want Wheaties to reimburse me for all the cereals, cereals I ate, thinking it would help me grow like a man like this guy represented and not the lady boy that we actually ended up getting. So you went to bed as dead name, but woke up as Caitlyn Jenner. Now that's what I call woke. Woke. We're living in the, in the twilight zone. How many tears have fallen? Okay, this is, that's way too long. I'm so outraged, this takes the cake. Okay, well, Sandra doesn't seem uh, too fixated on uh, Caitlyn Jenner. How much of a joke Fox has become to air people like this? And, and like, it's like a huge anti-trans circle jerk. Same feeling, right? And to call him Caitlyn, misgendering, pretending he's actually a woman. It's the emperor's new clothes all over again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so this kind of goes on and on. You get the picture. Um, it hurts to see Bruce like that. They are absolutely ruthless. And so I need people like Caitlyn Jenner to understand that they will never, ever accept you. Not only are you invalid to them, they would do harm to you if they could. They would legislate you out of existence if they could. But the problem with some people is that you know, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, for example, uh, Blair White, same applies to her. They don't have community uh, solidarity. They have class solidarity. And so because grifting to the right and pandering to the right and essentially affirming all of their pre-existing biases makes them a lot of money, they're willing to throw their own community and themselves under the bus in order to profit. It, it's truly gross. It, it's genuinely nauseating to see. But this is the lie. These are the lives that they chose for themselves. So I'm not going to be too, too uh, sad for Caitlyn Jenner here, um, she essentially asked for this by aligning with these folks. It doesn't make it right, but I mean, it's kind of like the whole, I can't believe that leopards would eat my face, says woman who voted for the leopards eating face party. Like, that's exactly what this is. Uh, you can't get in bed with these demons and expect for them to accept you if you tell them what they want to hear. It's you. You are the problem to them. They don't want you to exist. In fact, we should take a look at other videos because I want to be... Uh, I want to make sure that this isn't just like an outlier because woke came up. Maybe there are other videos where they listen to what Caitlyn Jenner has to say and they're not fixated on her identity. Let me just see really quick here. Okay, this is another example of woke world going crazy. Caitlyn Jenner, I'm getting tired of this woke world. Do they just bring her on to denounce wokeness? Military wokeness has to stop. Okay, so apparently... That's all that Fox News brings her on to talk about is uh, wokeness. Okay, well, well, let's let's check it out because these, <laughs> these are the only samples that we have to look at. Uh, this is another example of the wo woke world going crazy. Let's check the comment section here. Um, I'm not seeing a lot from this one, to be fair. This, oh, okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. 158 upvotes. Uh, this man speaking on this subject on TV without shame uh, is the woke world gone crazy. Jenner is one of the people who pioneered this carnival we're living in. Okay, so yeah, they're back. They're back. Caitlyn Jenner. This is another example of the woke world gone crazy. That's hilarious considering the source. Okay, so yeah, the transphobia is still there. Uh, let's check another video here. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, I'm getting so tired of this woke world. It, like, is this intellectually stimulating to her, by the way? 
Oh, the woke the wokeness is so bad. I mean, don't you have concerns, uh, political concerns that you care about? Like, aren't you concerned about tax cuts? Um, imagine living in a world where Caitlyn Jenner gets called anti-trans. Are we living in the Twilight Zone? When an actual trans person says woke stuff has got insanely out of hand, you know there is something severely wrong with the world. So this is the response that I originally kind of expected to see mostly. This has a lot of upvotes. Um, so maybe she said something that really resonated with them. Maybe she's like, look, I'm an abomination, okay? But if I can see that the wokeness has gone too far, as woke as I am, then we've gone too far. Like, maybe that's what she said. Although, I, I, I'm, I don't want to watch the video. I can't, I can't take any more of Caitlyn Jenner's commentary. It's torture. Caitlyn is the most qualified person to argue that biological men should not compete in women's sports. As an Olympian and transgender person, it speaks volumes that she is against this. So what are we talking about here? So they might actually listen to what she has to say if in this segment specifically she's throwing trans people under the bus because that's really the utility in bringing on Caitlyn Jenner. They don't give a fuck about what else she has to say, but if this trans woman is going to use her identity to legitimize anti-trans bigotry, then that's when they're going to listen to what she has to say. So let's uh, let's see. Uh, there it is right there. Boom. Leah Thomas. It's faster than all the women in the girls in sports well that goes okay viral. so this one maybe they're going to be more charitable to her because she's saying that transphobia is okay hating on trans women that's fine so let's see are they gonna uh, dead name misgender her you know we're living in the end times when caitlin jenner starts to make sense I feel like transgender women and transgender men should have their own categories when competing in sports. No, they should not. Uh, everyone has the right to compete fairly, and this is definitely not fair. Thank you for standing up for women. Okay, so the one time, at least that we've come across, that Fox News' audience is not fixated on Caitlyn Jenner's uh, identity, it's when she's throwing other trans people under the bus. But when she speaks about a different issue... They're fixated on her transgender identity because, again, the extent to which right wingers welcome marginalized people, uh, it goes in so far as they're willing to throw their own community under the bus. But the second you deviate from what their expectations are, they are ruthless. They're berating you. They're calling you uh, a woke person. So here's another one. Uh, three months ago, Caitlyn Jenner, the military wokeness has to stop. So she's talking about the military, presumably, and not trans people. So... What do they say this time? So, okay. So far, I'm seeing the first three comments that I see. They're discussing the actual issue that's being discussed. It's a dumb issue, but they're not like fixated on Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, imagine living in a world where Caitlyn Jenner gets called anti-trans. Are we in the tri Twilight Zone? Wait, did we not just... Did that same person make the same comment? What What's going on here? Um... This guy can't even figure out his gender, but sure, let's listen to his military strategy. So here we are again. This is the most ironic news clip I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. You couldn't find a worse person to talk about this subject. So funny. Caitlyn Jenner's How You Know This Is All Reality TV. So once again, you see a ton of people just shitting on Caitlyn Jenner for who she is. Because... To them, to these people, they believe that just platforming a trans woman is Fox News going woke. So that's uh, Caitlyn Jenner should look at the comments and realize the only time they're going to accept you for who you are is when you're shitting on other trans people. But that's it. That's the extent of it. Like Dave Rubin ran into this problem too, right? He thought that these conservatives were actually uh, tolerant enough to be concerned with his personal life so he announced that he's having children with his uh husband and they completely shit on him milo says he should be put to death they call him a child abuser and a groomer and all this shit like we don't have to revisit that we talked about that but he forgot that he got out of line they don't care about him as a person he could die and they wouldn't shed a single tear they are using him and he forgot that that's his purpose his role is to throw gay men and gay women under the bus. Caitlyn Jenner's role is to throw trans women and trans people and non-binary people under the bus. The second that you deviate from that expectation, your usefulness to them is over. They don't, they don't care about anything else. So um, 
Caitlyn Jenner is deluding herself to think that they care about what she has to say. The only time they're going to listen and not be hyper fixated on her identity is when she is shitting on trans people. Period. End of story. So these grifters are craven. They are gross. But the thing about Caitlyn Jenner is she's not necessarily comparable to Dave Rubin because Dave Rubin wasn't already wealthy. Caitlyn Jenner was. So it's not like she's choosing to do this for money, in my opinion. She's choosing to shit on her own community, uh, maybe because she wants to be part of that conservative in-group since economically she aligns with them on everything. I just, I, I honestly struggle to figure out the motivations of Caitlyn Jenner. Either way, they will never accept her if that's what she's looking for. And um, she's being used.